Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Cancer. This is for Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're just going to see what comes up. This is a singles reading, okay? So this is for singles, and this is for February. So what do we have for Cancer, singles, and February? This is your single. This is a singles reading, okay? So what do we have for Cancer? Oh, lack of awareness, judgment reverse. Somebody's keeping a secret, okay? They're seeking a, keeping a secret and somebody's unaware, okay? Somebody's unaware that somebody is keeping a secret. Somebody's not telling the truth, okay, with a judgment card reverse. Or there's a, somebody's making a poor judgment call, okay? It may not be seeing something clearly. Somebody could be clinging to the past, well, hoping for a reconciliation. You know, if that's what you're trying to manifest and it's not meant to be, you're hindering your own growth. You're hindering the opportunity. You're hindering your new life. You're hindering your new beginning if you're hoping for a reconciliation for some, with someone from the past that isn't interested. It's like refusing to release, refusing to accept Lack of acceptance, lack of receipt, release. I want a reconciliation. Perhaps you need to release and accept. When it's done, it's done. Now that portion isn't for everybody. Not every part of the reading is for you. Not every reading is for you. But when you get the judgment reversed, this is like, this is karma, but it's bad karma, okay? Somebody is, is like holding on to some sort of karmic situation because they are refusing to learn a lesson, refusing to release the past, refusing to accept the truth, refusing to wake up, refusing to live. It's like... When, what is this? It's supposed to be rising from the ashes, but somebody is keeping themselves down. Hmm. Wow. Queen of coins reversed. Now this is unstable, insecure, jealous, selfish, stubborn. We have a very stubborn energy here. Knight of wands. Now the knight of wands is... Act now, think later, change your, change your direction. You need to take action right now. Right now. You need to change. You need to move in a new direction like right now. Let go of whatever it is that you've been holding on to, Cancer. I'm serious. You may be holding on to an earth sign. You may have been holding on to a Scorpio. Could have been a air sign as well. So we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And then we have... Scorpio, but this is somebody new probably coming into your life. This could be somebody that is coming into your life just like that. It's like all of a sudden they are interested. All of a sudden, you know, they want to give you some attention. But if you don't reciprocate because you're holding on to the past, well, we got a problem here. Unable to let go. This is unable to make a decision. On one hand, you want to go back. On one hand, you want somebody new. Is that what this is? This is indecisive. Fear of change. You keep on going back and forth, back and forth. Oh, well, yeah, I want somebody, but then again, if the other one comes back, no. That's not going to work out. You need to make a decision and you need to stick to it. So we have an unhappy, this is not happy, this is lack of growth, lack of bliss, lack of contentment, because you're not allowing growth. Somebody is not accepting. Lack of acceptance here. Therefore, you're not getting the happiness that you need. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo. Um, this is definitely lack of growth. Poor health, instability, insecurity, totally unaware. This is somebody who is refusing to wake up. Just I refuse to see, I refuse to accept the truth. Okay? A three of cups reversed? Perhaps, you know, this is three of cups, somebody that is lack of, th the three of cups reversed is uh, lack of emotional growth. 
lack of you got uh, somebody here that is refusing refusing to allow growth growth there's not going to be a reunion there's not going to be a reconciliation with the past this party is over it's over this is needing to part ways stop holding on to whatever it is that you have been stubbornly holding on to this is for cancer singles that are that are hoping and praying for a reconciliation that is not going to happen This is move very quickly in a new direction. There's also, there's a third party situation here that you need to get out of. Karma is a bitch. So this is the card. This is bad luck. This is bad karma. If you involve yourself in third party situations, knowing that somebody is in a commitment, you aren't going to find something stable. You don't get rewarded for that. So if the, I don't know who needs to hear that message, but there's somebody here that has, you know, is is in a third party situation. They know that the person that they are with is in com commit in a commitment, and they, therefore they're getting bad karma. You don't get long term stability when you engage yourself in a third party situation. You do not. You will get something instant. Yes, you will get instant gratification, but you won't get anything stable. And it might last for three years, okay? It might last for a little while. You might get this person, but you won't get them long term because you didn't act with integrity. You didn't make the right judgment call. You didn't do the right thing. And you don't have to believe me, but that is a fact. So I, that's what I see here. I see we, that we have somebody here that needed to have their ego fed. They needed to have their insecurities met. They needed to have their, you know, desires met. They didn't care that the person that they were involving themselves in had somebody else. And now they're not getting any sort of stable commitment from this person because, you know, it was a third party situation. You don't know your value. This is lack of value. Nobody else does either. You're just somebody to play with if you're that easy. So I think this is hit and run. This is what this is. Hit and run. I, I'll mess with this person. This person doesn't know their value. This person doesn't know their worth. I can play with this person as long as I want because they are unawakened. They're unaware. Ha 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 ha. Whoever is being, somebody is being played by somebody and they're being played like a fiddle. We got somebody here that is asleep. They don't even see it. They don't even see that this isn't going to grow. They're just, they keep playing. They keep playing with this third party situation. Six of Cups reversed. And this is the past, right? This is the, some of you are really, really clinging to the past. clinging to the memories of the past. Now the Six of Cups reversed. This is packing up and leaving. There's some sort of abuse here. Nothing stays the same except it. Let go of the past. Let go of the third party situation. Turn your back. Go in a different... Get out. Get out of that third party situation. Don't keep waiting around for somebody who is with somebody else. So anyway, Cancer, I feel like in in uh, February, you will be parting ways with somebody from your past. Because that is parting ways. Because it's unhealthy. There's no growth. There's a, uh, there's a lack of happiness. You've been reluctant to make a decision because you, you didn't want to believe it. You didn't want to see it. You didn't want to accept the truth. But this isn't stable and it's not solid and you're not going to get anything long term out of it. So it's time to go. So I feel as though you will be heading in a different direction in February. You maybe, maybe you're moving. Maybe you're moving very quickly. You're leaving behind uh, somebody. Okay. Somebody that has you engaged in a third party situation. And I, and I know this is for singles. But I feel like you need. I feel like you guys are still clinging. You're clinging to the memories of the past. You're clinging to the past. That's clear. The past is very evident here. That a lot of you that are single are wanting a re reconciliation with the past that just isn't realistic. It's not practical. 
And it is heartbreaking. But it's, it's part of reality to accept change, to accept the truth. This is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. It's time to accept the truth and look at things from a new perspective. Stand in your power. Be honest with yourself. So, Cancer, I feel like uh, February is about releasing the past. And quickly moving in a new direction. Restoring control that is taking back control of your life. This is freedom. Freedom from a toxic situation, severing ties, breaking bonds. It's the devil reversed, okay? That is, and it's suddenly, it's suddenly you are back in control of your life. Suddenly you're the boss. Suddenly you're in charge. You have removed yourself from this unhealthy, toxic situation that you have been bound to. So it's breaking bonds. It's breaking, it's breaking chains. It's breaking free because it's freedom. I see freedom here. Somebody has been reluctant to take a new approach, reluctant to move on, staying in a disharmonious or unharmonious situation, and now it's time to get your life back on track. Somebody's been in a really troublesome situation, and they've been, uh, uh, what is it, what do you call that? Uh, well, I don't, I don't really want to swear, but they've been screwed up. Their mind has been a mess. It's time to leave the third party situation behind. Stop staying there, please. If somebody doesn't want you as their number one, then you don't know your value. And we definitely have somebody here that doesn't know their value. It's time to take back control from this person. Stop giving them your energy. Break the chains, please and move very quickly in a new direction. Is there somebody new coming into your life? <laughs> there could be. <laughs> could be the person that just wants to have sex with you. Because that's what we got here. We got one person that just wants to have sex with you and that's it. And perhaps you've been engaging because you don't know your value. You don't know your worth. Totally asleep, totally unaware, refusing to see. Codependency issues. This is an unhealthy relationship that you are engaging in. Perhaps this is your turning point. Drop it. This is a month. Of dealing with your insecurities and your codependency issues. And standing in your value, please. Good luck. <laughs>